some young broke dude. Crazy lady took my coffee because I'm pregnant. Grounds for murder? Edit. I don't think I can reply to everyone. As a side note, I've been previously diagnosed with chronic migraines, but now due to being pregnant, I can't take my Topamax. My doc actually suggested I keep drinking coffee in limited quantities to keep migraines at bay. Yes, the second coffee was free since my first was tossed in the trash. No, no one said anything to her, but I'm not surprised. People don't get involved in stuff anymore. Edit 2. Y'all, I'm not naturally clever enough for the pun in the title. I can't take credit. Someone else pointed it out to me before I saw what I'd done. TLDR, crazy lady wanted to take away my coffee because I'm pregnant, and I yelled at her. Let me start by saying I'm a 36-year-old woman, and it's very obvious I'm pregnant. I'm huge, massive, uncomfortable, tired and grumpy. I am currently at my local chain coffee shop, sitting now with my effing cup of coffee that had to be remade because some random grandmother decided that as I'm pregnant, I shouldn't be allowed to have caffeine. Full story. I've ordered the coffee, just a grand cold brew, nothing crazy, and I'm standing at the end of the counter waiting. The barista calls my name in drink order. I go to take it. You can't have that. I didn't know she was talking to me, so I continued to reach for my cup. You can't have that. You're pregnant. It's one cup. It's fine. No, you can't have it. You're not allowed. Takes cup from my hand and drops it full into the trash next to the counter. You cannot be serious. It's fine. My doctor even says it's fine. I looked at the barista who's just standing there, mouth agape. She lets me know she'll make me another. Please leave me alone. I'm tired and want my coffee. I get one cup a day. This is it. Please go away. Grandma Banshee screaming at this point. No, you can't have it. You're pregnant. It will make you have the baby now. You can't do it. I won't let my daughter do it either, but she drinks it anyway, and if I can't save her, I'll save you instead. I don't think she breathed during this at all. Also, what? Save me? Me looking around for help because I'm not good at confrontation and she's making me panic. Please stop. Looking at Barista pleading for help with my every thought. I'll just take that directly when you're done. Barista hands me my cup directly and this insane woman goes to take it from me again. So I yelled for her to stop trying to come near me. I literally loudly and even now have a bit of a shake from doing it, shouted. Please leave me alone. You're making me uncomfortable and I don't want you this close. She stopped, did this fish mouth gaping thing, went, Ah, fine. And left. The barista gave me a drink coupon and apologized for the stress. But goodness, how can someone think that's okay? Entitled mother tries to steal my laptop for her daughter and then assaults me. Her son tries to stop her and gets slapped. Before anything, one, I'm on my boyfriend's phone. Some typos could slip past. Two, I don't have a Reddit I'm posting on my boyfriend's account. Okay, so I'm being told that I should put in the cast. And EM is the entitled mother. Me is moi. BF is Milano Cookies. LB is the little brat daughter. And K is the son. SO is the shop owner. PO 1 and 2 are the police officers. This gets crazy. Okay, got that out of the way. Time for some context. I am mute, for one. I produce music for people. I live in a town full of shitty people. I am 16 years of age. I have a really nice laptop with Ableton Live Suite 10. Now on to the story. A few days ago, I went on my normal trip to the local coffee shop. It's a 15 minute walk from my place and usually fun to relax and work on my current projects. My mother used to always check in and be ready to pick me up. She is super protective. After a while of me being fine, she eventually became a bit more chill about me leaving on my own. Anyways, last Saturday she was out at work. I texted her that I was going out, but since she's a professor, she has her phone on silent. I got to the cafe shop and now to the owner for my usual. I sit down and open up my laptop. Around 20 minutes later, a family walks in. A woman, a boy, probably around 12-ish, and a little girl, 6, 8-ish. The boy looks bored and sits down. Not too much later, he comes up and asks me what I'm working on. What you working on? I point to my mouth and make an X with my fingers. You're mute? I nod. Can I hear your music then? I hand him my headphones and he takes a listen. He nods with the beat and generally looks like he enjoys it. But then his sister came. Oh boy, do I wish she didn't notice us. Ooh, a laptop, can I play? No, I'm just listening to his music. Little Brad ignoring him. Hey mister, can I have your laptop to play? I signal that I can't talk. What? What's going on here? I want that laptop to play. He's using it to make music, it's not for playing. Well, why don't you let him talk? He's... Shut up, little brat. I signal that I'm mute, again. What are those, gang signs? He can't talk, he's mute. I want the laptop. Stop that, little brat. You know that muteness isn't real. I stand up. You'd better drop that act right now and give me your laptop. You're too old to be playing games. You should be with a girl or something. Then, Entitled Mother just fucking grabs my laptop. Worth about $600 US. I grab it back. Entitled Mother tries to take it again, but I step back. 
The shop owner is noticing the commotion from the back room and comes out just in time to see the entitled mother scratch my face with her nails. Nothing got badly damaged, but my face got three cuts. She looks about ready to hit me again when her son grabs her hand and cries at her to stop. That bitch hit her son hard. Shop owner steps in and separates the two of us. I probably would be behind bars were it not for his impeccable timing. He calls the police and shortly enough they arrive. I called my boyfriend in the meantime, using yes or no finger snaps, and he drives over in a hurry. He is comforting me and even now he's mumbling under his breath about how he should have gone with me. The conversation with the police officers goes like this. Can you tell me what happened here? This crazy man stole my daughter's laptop and didn't give it back. I was asking him. Do you understand, Sign? He's mute. No, he's not. It's obviously being faked. He's playing the victim here. Ma'am, come with me for now. Anyways, yes, I do understand sign language. I say in sign, good, so this crazy lady wanted to steal my laptop for her daughter. When I took it back, she raked me across the face. Her son tried to stop her, but he was hit too. Okay, obviously the stories contradict. Because he is lying. Shut up already. There's got to be a security camera or something. Yes, I can show you all the footage. So we reviewed all the evidence and Entitled Mother was arrested. You bet your ass I'm pressing charges. Anyways, boyfriend is getting antsy without his phone. Until next time. Give me your dog, now. Hi, this is my first post on this subreddit, so I think it won't get noticed by much people. My dog is a Maltese dog and is named Lola. Lola helped me very much because I was scared of dogs and she helped me bypass my awareness of dogs. So here goes the story. It's a normal day and me and my mom are walking my dog around the town. Dog was having a very good time and we did too. All of a sudden I was aware this will happen when we were going home. We met one kid. It was an entitled kid from my school and we were going in the same classroom. He walks up to me with his entitled mom suffering from Ebola and screaming, What a nice dog, mom. Entitled mom asks us, Would you give it to me for $10? 1,000 din in Serbian, which is very small price for a dog. My mom, which was in hurry and didn't have time for such people, said that it isn't for selling. Also, me and my mom knew that Entitled Kid had another dog, and Entitled Kid throwed him every day and bullied his dog. The Entitled Mother says, You must put it for sale. This is a free country. Take this $10 and give me that stupid fur before I call the police. Luckily, me and my mom were living at the edge of town and nobody wasn't looking at us. We gently walked to the entrance of a building I live in, ignoring the Entitled Kid and Entitled Mother. Five to nineteen minutes later, we hear someone clicking on a doorbell. My mom opens, holding Lola in her hands, barking. It was the police. Now the only thing we needed in this moment was a three cops standing in front of our apartment door. They say, good morning, this lady right here, points at the entitled mother, assumed you beated her up and stole her dog. My mom asks if there is any proof. Now when my mom asked that, everyone started looking at entitled mother. Of course, she didn't have any photos of footage just proofing the dog is owned by her. My mom grabs my Samsung J3 and pulls out my collection of 100 plus photos of my dog I have taken because I was bored. Entitled Mother begins to feel angry and triggered and started screaming and started kicking one of the officers. They quickly and successfully arrest her, accusing her for trying to fight a cop and trying to steal others' property. Then everyone pressed charges on her and story finished. Now every day I go to school, autistic entitled kid stares at me with a suspicious look every day, every month. I'm very sorry for some mistakes. I'm on my mobile and I don't know English very good. Upvote the story if you liked it. Mother forgets baby at Denny's, ends up fighting a cop. On mobile. So this happened about 20-ish years ago and I thought y'all might like it. EP is forgetful mom and PO is police officer. When I was in high school I got a job bussing tables and washing dishes at a local Denny's restaurant. This place was shaped kind of like an L with two separate sections of the restaurant. You would come in the front door to the hostess station to be seated either straight ahead or to the right and when it started to slow down we would shut down one side for cleaning and seat all the customers on the other. The lunch rush had died down and we closed off the empty side and I got started wiping off tables, collecting plates, etc. when I noticed in one of the booths was a baby carrier. I figured someone just forgot it and carried their kid. It happens. No big deal. I was wrong. I picked up the carrier to take it to the hostess station and it started moving. Inside was a baby, probably about two to three months old. I thought the situation was kind of funny, being a 16 year old little shit, but my manager did not and called the police after checking the bathrooms to see if the mother had just stepped away. We all kind of assumed the mom would realize the mistake quickly and come back right away. Nope. Don't remember how long it took, but she managed to get all the way home and unload her kids before realizing she forgot one. She had two others. Long enough for the cop to show up and take our statements. Now on to the real show. We gave our statements and the baby was in the carrier sitting at the hostess station when the entitled parent flung open the door like she had something to prove. You asshole seriously called the cops already? I didn't even leave the parking lot. I was gone for a minute. Ma'am, you need to calm down. We need to have a talk and I need to take your statement. 
I'm not saying anything to you. I'm taking my child and leaving. At this point, the cop is in between entitled parent and the baby. Ma'am, I can't let you take the child until I get a statement and you can prove you are this child's parent. The woman calmed down a bit and the manager showed security footage of the lady eating with the kids so it was all squared away. Or was it? Okay, ma'am, I'm going to let you off with a warning, but as a mother of three, you need to be a lot more careful. I'm going to have to forward your info to CPS for a wellness check to make sure all the children are being cared for. You have no right to talk to me that way! You have no idea what it's like being a mother! The woman was going on a tangent, pointing her finger at the cop and flailing her arms. As she was stepping closer to the cop, who was still between her and the baby, one of her finger waggings went rogue and managed to hit the cop on the bridge of the nose, and the cop immediately lost her shit and grabbed the entitled parent by the wrist and tackled her to the ground. What ensued was a lot of hair pulling, wrestling, and I'll sue you! screaming until the cop managed to pin her to the ground, get the cuffs on her, and escort her to the cop car and backup arrived. Not sure what ended up happening, but I do know while all this was going on, for about 20 minutes, the mom had left her other two kids in the car alone. You can go away now. So this happened the weekend Infinity War came out. My mates and I all pre-booked tickets weeks in advance, got the best seats, showed up early, got all our food, we were set. Our showing, due to the sheer amount of people, got upgraded to the bigger screen, so we got even better seats, right at the back in the middle. Story time. Five minutes before the movie was starting, this entitled mother and like a five or so year old kid who looked really disinterested came up and asked us to move so she could sit there. It went like this. Do you mind moving so my son and I can sit there? You got really good seats and I want him to enjoy the Avengers League movie. Direct quote. Annoyed me more than the whole incident. Sorry, we got here first and we have no intention of moving, but there are some seats down. I know, that's where we came from. I want your seats. Now move. I won't ask again. You can ask all you want. Won't change. Now leave. The movie's about to start. That's it. You've done it. Security! Security! Security guard runs over. Yes, ma'am. What seems to be the problem? These two boys stole my son's seat and won't move. I even offered to pay them. I just want my son to enjoy the movie. He's so excited to watch Spider-Boy and Superman. They are his favorites. They aren't even the right names. Please stop and leave us alone. I have my tickets. I have the email for the unupgraded screen and everything. I'm not moving. So why is he telling me this if it's not true? I'm gonna need to see your tickets. All of them. Why? It's clear they don't belong here. They don't even know who Superman is. This is a kid's movie. You're too old. I was 19 at the time. This is a waste of everyone's time. Just leave. Oi, you stupid anus. Look around you. There is not a single child in this room of about 500 seats. They are all in their 20s. Hands the security guard the tickets. Okay, that's fine. Entitled mother, can I see your tickets? Entitled mother hands them over. Uh, are you sure these are the right tickets? Of course I am. I'm never mistaken. Well, okay then. These tickets are not for this movie. In fact, the movie therefore started 45 minutes ago. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. You clearly snuck in and tried to bully your way into seats. Entitled Mother just looks defeated. She quietly agrees to leave. The security guard escorts her out. Random hero in a Black Panther costume says, You can go away now, Karen! The theater was nice and restarted the movie and gave everyone a free movie ticket. We all enjoyed the movie and gave Random Hero a standing ovation at the end. Your girlfriend is perfect for my 16 year old son and you don't even deserve her. Ah, it's me here again. This time I know what things I can write about and oh does this open up some doors. Good morning, good interval and good evening to those who read. Backstory. This was after my visit to my company's contractor. I was on another business trip. I had taken my girlfriend and accountant, same cool guy as last time he's also married, to dinner and we were on our way home. Later at around 11pm, me and my girlfriend went to our hotel room and he went separately to his. I wanted to go to the hot springs outside. It has an incredible view at night over the ocean and it's located between cliff sides. And my girlfriend said she'd come with. We both had not brought any bathing suits and were relaxing in the pool. Keep in mind this is a booked area for privacy. And in jumps entitled kid. It's a private area, so they shouldn't be here from the start. EM is entitled mother, EK is entitled kid, GF is girlfriend. Wait, why is there people here? I think it's best if you get changed now. Okay, got it. I stand with a towel around my waist covering everything to my knees and walk over to them. At this time, the kid was wandering around at the open showers. Sorry, but it seems like you came to the wrong area. I can show you your area if you let me see your number. No, it's okay. The public one's too full now, so we'll just have this half the spring. Sorry, but I'm actually here with my girlfriend and she doesn't feel comfortable with your son being here. My girlfriend told me the following part. The entitled kid walked up to my girlfriend who's older than him by the way. We are both below 30. Hi there. Hey. It must be pretty lonely here by yourself and your friend. Ah, that's my boyfriend and we have plenty of company with each other so don't worry about that. 
Are you lost? No, no, I'm just here to see you. My girlfriend knows he's flirting. Sorry, little guy, but this is a private area. I don't think you're allowed in here. That is if you don't let me. Girlfriend is literally laughing while holding the laughter back at his attempt. My girlfriend walks towards me and the kid follows. Yeah, but I do give credit to the kid for trying. What? Don't worry about it. I'll tell you later. Sorry, but I think your time is up in this area. Don't worry, there's a bell. But anyway, you've hogged this area to yourself long enough, so couldn't you just leave? We want to use our time relaxing, so sorry, but I would like to enjoy some alone time more. But you've already been in here for so long. Well, I did book this area two nights ago. We're both really tired tonight, so can you just think a little about other people and leave? At this point, I can't be bothered and just said to my girlfriend, let's just go. And she said yes with the cutest pout on her face. No, she can stay. What? You can go back, but she can stay with us. Thanks, but I think I'll go too. Can you stay with me, please? Sorry, but I've got a boyfriend, little guy. Wait. What's the matter with you? Can't you see my son likes her more than you? Just go. Wait. My son likes her more, so can't you just get out already? She obviously doesn't like you anyway. Sorry to disappoint, but we're getting married in two months. What? But you were gonna kiss me. When? Why would such a lovely girl marry this selfish cunt? I'm done talking with you. You're insane. Let's go. Don't you lay a finger on my son's girlfriend, and you're you. Why would you ever consider such a man? If you want to talk shit about me, go on, but stop bothering my bride or else the only kiss your son's going to get is my fist. I stared right at her as she shut up and turned to her son and said, Any other shit you want to say to her? He backed off a little and me and my girlfriend walked to the reception and told our story. They got dragged out by security and I've never had an encounter with them since. Well, that's what I get for having such a cute girlfriend.